Did Daisy Ridley confirm Raylo for Star Wars Episode 9? There are only two months to go until Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker brings the nine film Skywalker saga to an end. And with the internet afire with rumors that a new trailer could drop as early as next week, fans are gobbling up every little tidbit of information they can, like Jabba the Hutt eating a Klatooine patty frog. Thankfully, new quotes from the sequel trilogy's lead, Daisy Ridley, aka Rey from Nowhere, has fans over the moon with the possibility that their favorite ship, Raylo, will be addressed in Episode 9 in a major way, for better or worse. So what did she say about it all? Well, let's break it down. Of course, before we do, this episode of Nerdist News will be going deep into possible spoiler territory for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, so if you want to walk into theaters as fresh as C-3PO with a memory wipe, back out of this video right now. <laughs> First off, in case you've cut yourself off from the Force entirely to live in seclusion on Oct 2 like Luke Skywalker, this is what exactly Raylo is. It's the fan shipping between Rey and Kylo Ren that has been in place since 2015's Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Awakens. Shipping adversaries is common enough in fandoms, and of course, this was an easy logical step to make because J.J. Abrams infused Kylo Ren and Rey's scenes with a very palpable tension. Don't be afraid. I feel it too. Ooh. There's no denying that there's some sort of chemistry between them that was further deepened in The Last Jedi, where it literally connected their brains through the Force, and helped along by the fact that Episode 8 confirmed that they were not somehow going to be related like Luke and Leia. While most fans would agree that any relationship between them is problematic, to say the least, because of this... No, no, you're still holding on! Let go! And this... You have no place in this story. And of course this... You come from nothing. You're nothing. Come on, Kylo, you can still land this ship. But not to me. There you go. Look, it's hard to deny that they share some sort of connection that runs deep. And fans, specifically Raylo fans, have been wondering how or if this connection will be addressed in the trilogy's finale, The Rise of Skywalker. Luckily for those fans, Daisy Ridley gave the lowdown on the sequel's most famous ship to the folks over at Entertainment Weekly. And no, we're not talking about the Millennium Falcon. Oh, they hate that ship! Ridley said regarding Raylo, it does not bother me people writing theories. It's really fun hearing them. Plus, because I know what's sort of going to happen, I think it'll be really interesting to see people's reaction to the final film. Obviously, there's this whole Raylo thing, and some people are very passionate about it, some aren't. Okay, well, she's aware of it, which isn't a big deal. She's commented on it before, but she went on to say more about how it will be dealt with in Episode 9. JJ does deal with it. It's a very complex issue. People talk about toxic relationships and whatever it is. It's no joke, and I think it's dealt with really well because it's not skimmed over. So, it's looking like in Episode 9, J.J. Abrams will finish what he started in Episode 7, which sounds like great news for both Raylo fans and detractors alike. That's because one major part of the trilogy being built around the adversarial nature between Rey and Kylo Ren, addressing their connection slash chemistry and exploring it in a deep and meaningful way without brushing over the icky parts, could be extremely satisfying for Star Wars fans if J.J. is truly up to the task like Ridley says he is. But does this mean that Rey and Kylo Ren will end up together? Maybe. Not necessarily. I mean, old Ben Solo has a lot of work to do on his communication skills before he's ready for any sort of meaningful relationship. Anything else? And with rumors that The Rise of Skywalker has eight different endings that are being tested with audiences, there is certainly a lot of pressure on JJ and company to end the Skywalker saga in a satisfying way, and that definitely means tying up Kylo and Rey's stories. Plus, if the only reason you're against Raylo is because you think they're going to end up being relatives, come on, get real. Star Wars wouldn't make that same mistake again, and you can take that to the bank. Well, I guess you don't know everything about women yet. Unless we're wrong, of course. Maybe. But what do you folks think? How do you think Episode 9 will wrap things up? Have you been able to avoid spoilers so far? And how did Kylo Ren have such luxurious hair right after taking off his mask in Episode 7? Mm. Don't be afraid. I feel it too. Let's discuss. 
<laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with a show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world. Thank <laughs> you.